Hi, it's Claire. So what we're going to have a go at doing is we're going to make this wire work component. So you can see here, so it's a, it's a really, it's, it's quite an intricate component. It's really, really versatile. So we can use it in lots of different wire work pieces. So you can use it on its own. So you can have it as a pendant like that. Or you can use it so you can work with um, your earring findings and have it as an earring. It's a really nice look as well. And then if you want to, if you wanted to sort of make a couple, so you can see here I've used that same component, it's just turned on its side there. But it's the same component, but we've used it with um, more intricate wire work base. So I've got one running along here, and then another one running along there. So you can see it's a really, um, it is a versatile piece of wire work that you can hopefully use in lots of different sorts of jewellery. So you can see there, that's it as the pendant. So that's what we're going to have a, have a go at today. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the tools that I've used. So I've used my chain nose pliers, my step bail making pliers, my flush cutters, and my round nose pliers. And as far as the, uh, the materials go that you'll need, so I've used, um, so what's you, what you've got in the kits, so I've used 0.4 and a 0.8 wire, so your structural wire and your weaving or your wrapping wire. And the gemstones, so I've got the rondelles and then the smaller rounds, so you can see those there. So those are your materials and the tools that you'll need. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna prep our, our structural wires. So I've got my 0.8, so I'm just gonna run that through my fingers just to get any kinks out. So you want two lengths of the of the 0.8, and I'm gonna go with two lots of about 14 centimeters. So I'm just gonna measure those out. So um, it's only approximate, but this will give you uh, the same sizes that I've got. So I'm gonna to go to about 14 there. Okay, so if I cut there. So we've got one there, and let's get our next one. So again, just get any kinks out, so I've kept it on the reel, running it through my fingers. Make sure I haven't got a sharp end there. And I'm going to have another one that is the same, same size here. So let's bring that down, and let's cut there. Okay, so I've got the two, two lengths there. So you can either do this separately or together. And so now you want to take your chain nose. And what we're going to do, we're going to find the, find the halfway point, which in room with my rubbish maths, I know is seven. So I'm going to hold that there. So you're looking to get it. So you want to go in that middle bit and we're looking to fold over. So we're almost going to make like a hairpin. Okay, so we've got something that looks like that. So we've got the two sections there. I've got a little bit of a kink in that one, so I'm just going to get that out. Okay, so we want those to sit so just so they're going inside each other. But what we want to do on this one, what I'm going to do on the outer one, I'm going to take my step bail making pliers and I'm just going to pop that in there so that it goes slightly bigger so that I've got a bit of a rounded edge here. So that will sit and make a nice, if I want to have that as the bail, if that's where my um, earring finding or jump ring is going to go. Okay, so I can already see I need to snip these off a bit so that it's, it's a little bit more even. So I'm just going to go in, snip that off there, and just get rid of that, and see if I need to do the same one. Yeah, so I need to do the same there. So it's best if you can, if you can start off so that they're even from the start. Okay, so I've got one that's um, slightly more rounded, which is this one, and this one is slightly more angular. So I'm going to put the angular one on the inside. Okay, so that's going to come in around about two centimetres from the top. So if I just have a look there, so you can see, so that's going to go about two centimetres, and that's where I'm going to start the weaving. But don't worry if you don't get it exact, because you will have a little bit of movement uh, even when you've done your weaving, if your weaving isn't too, if you haven't pulled it too tight. So just keep an eye on your tension. But so you're going to have it so it's sitting like that. So to do the weaving, so I'll pop that down for a minute, we're going to use our 0.4. So I'm going to take a section of that, and for, for this I'm probably going to take about, 
can maybe go with about 50 centimeters or so that's going to be enough so i'm going to snip my so i've got my 0.4 weaving wire here and what i want to do i want to weave and use both ends to weave with so i'm putting the two ends together i'm going to find that midpoint there so i'm actually going to pick up the center one i'm going to start to wrap now i'm going to wrap probably maybe about eight to ten times around this center point here so that the sort of the more angular part so you can see how this is going so if we try and get those wraps so they're nicely bound one on top of the other and we'll see how this is going to start to look so i'm just bringing that round so you can see already, so by doing that, I've got two weaving wires. So I've got this one here, and I've got this one on this side. So I'm just going to bring that through, push that one up. So that is there. Again, just bring this up nice and tight so it's a bit neater there. So that's going to sit like that. So the idea with this is we want it to be symmetrical. So the way of doing that is we can count the, each of the wraps that we do so that we know it's going to be neat. So I can already see, probably need to do another one on this side to get it so that it's even here. So I'm just going to have that there. And one, maybe one more. So that is nice and even. Okay. So I've now got a weaving wire here and a weaving wire here. So I'm going to pick up the outer structural wire and place that on so that's going to go on top here and underneath that wire there so remember we're going for about the two centimeters from this section there so I'm going to do this side first so what we're going to do we're going to do a, a five and two weave so I already know so the, the, the two weave is going to go and combine the two structural wires so I'm going to go once and twice and back round. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this in almost like a shoe box, so that's why it's a little bit wobbly. So bear with me. So I'm going around and in between the two wires. So in this one, I really want to get in and just push that up so it's nice and neat. And again, bring this round and in between so the five and two comes in so now so I've done the two on the two wires you can see there and this is where I do the five so I've done one two so this is my third one coming in between and push up and the next one in between so you can see I've got four so I need to do one more and up. So I've done my five there, so I now go back to the two. So I go over one and two. So you're going to keep doing that and you're going to do that until you've done. So I did four lots of the two, so that's going to take me to about here. And you're going to turn it over and you're going to do the other side. And that should give you something that looks like that. Okay, so we've done our weaving. So if we have another look at it, so we've got uh, we've done our five and two weave going down both sides. So you can see, so I've got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So you can see what, I'm, what I meant when I was talking about um, counting your weaves, so counting each wrap, and that'll give you the same length either side. So you know you've got your five going on the single wraps on the single wire and your two double wraps there so just by by counting each of the wraps it just helps it so that it's nice and symmetrical and even on both sides which means it's going to look really neat so we've done the wrapping part so what we want to do now is we're going to do this section here so we're going to start moving these structural wires so the first bit we're going to do is sort of like this this detail that goes in between so there's a little bit of a, um, a swirl here We've got the two loops that means we can hang something from it and then we're going to bind and wrap out back going back over the weave here. So all we're going to be doing now is working with the structural wires. We're not going to cut off the weaving wire because we're going to use those later. 
So I've just left those on. So what we want to do is we're going to separate these out a little bit. So I'm going to open it up. So you can either use your step bail making pliers or you could use your round nose pliers. It depends whichever ones you've got and whichever you prefer. So the, the wires that we're going to work with are these inner wires. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up so I can see. And what, I, what also sometimes helps if it, I'm just going to split it a little bit like that. So I'm going to get my bail makers and I'm going to come in. So you can go with, um, I'm probably going to go with the, uh, the smaller size, but for this first bit, I'm just going to make that first curve and then swap it around so that I've got here. So I'm turning, so I've got this, this structural wire is going on the inside. So I'm going to hold that and then I'm going to pull really firmly so that it forms around, so nice and neatly around the bail makers. So you can see, so I'm just bringing that in and I'm pulling it really nice and tightly. So I've gone double thickness around the bow makers. So I can already see it's gone a little bit skew with. So I'm going to bring that round and I'm going to pop my bow makers back in and just come and bring that round. So it's a little bit neater in the front. So you can see, so I've got a double thickness there and that needs to end up so that it's coming at that angle there. So I've moved my finger out of the way, you can see from all angles there. So I've got double thickness, so almost like a coil, but it needs to end so that it's coming off at that angle. So I'll do it again on this side. So I'll just bring that in, so I might actually start again with the bigger, just so that I can get that first curve. So I'm starting a little bit lower here, and then bringing that round. So I'm going to swap back over into the smaller one. So get that nice and tight there, so bring that out of the way, and again, so we've got one, but we need to go back round, so I'm just going to curl it in a little bit, nice and tight, and bring that in. So I'm going to move my bail makers now. moving it round all the time. I'm going to pop that back in there, bring it round and again we want that to stop about there. So let's have a look how that's looking. Okay, so you can see there. So what I need to go in and do is just push that down. So I'm just going to bring that in. So I'm going to straighten that up. And then I'm going to curve this round. So I'm going to even those up. So again, we can use that weave as a nice guide so that we get it symmetrical. So I know I want this structural wire to end just in between the, the first lot of two binds. So I want it to sort of end about here. So I'm going to do that on that side, that on that side. So that gives me a guide really of where to cut my wires so it's going to be nice and neat. So what I want to do now is I need to cut it, so I want to cut it about here, so I've probably left maybe about uh, half a centimetre because I know that that is going to go all the way and wrap around. So if I just take that there, I'm going to hold that here, so I'm holding it and supporting it and wrapping that all the way at the back like that. Okay, so I can go in Stick that a little bit of a fold there. And I know, so you can see I've gone in between that first two there and the second two wrap there. So I can do exactly the same on this one. I'm just going to turn it round, just bring that out a little bit. So remember again, we're going for that about half a centimetre, so we've got enough to wrap around. Bring that in. So I'm using my chain nose pliers again. Just turn it in and fold that over. So if we have a look from the back, so we can see they're just tucked in. You might need to go in and just give that a little bit of a nip off if you can see it there. So there we go. So I know I need to just bring that in just ever so slightly so that I don't see it from the front. So you can see, so that's the first 
part that we've done. So the next bit we need to do is we're going to start to shape these wires here. Okay, so again I'm going to use my step bow making pliers and I'm using those because I know that if I use these and I wrap around these I'm going to have exactly the same shape, same size circles on both sides. So I'm just going to bring that in and bring that round. Okay, and I'll do the same on this side. So I'm going to pop that in. I think I'm making this look very complicated because I'm looking at it through my phone. So this potentially could be one of the worst demos ever. And you know if you've seen some of my demos, that's saying something. So let's have a look here. So I'm going to cut off now. So I'm going to cut off. So I've left probably, there's probably about a centimetre that I'm going to cut off. So I'm going to go to the other side and do the same there. So I'm going to cut that off there. So I can go back with my step bow makers and we can just bring that in there. So I'm just gripping it at the end and let's curve that in there. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So you could do, if you wanted to, if you wanted to um, hammer these, you could as well. That would be a nice, nice effect. So we've got like that there. So what I've done on the, um, so if I pop that down for a minute, you can see. I can show you the other ones. So you, what you can do is, so I've used these beautiful gemstones um, uh, and I've used those. So that what you'll get in the kit and the drill hole is absolutely fine. So you can get your 0.4 through so you can see how lovely they look. So what I'll show you, so hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better, I'm going to use slightly larger spacers to show you how that I attach those. So I've got my, and everything you do remember because it's we're looking for that symmetry, so everything I do on this side I'd then do exactly the same on this side. So what I want to make sure is that this wire is coming on the, so it's going to sit on the outside, so we're going to put the detail on this side so it's going to run all the way along here. So I need that wire to be coming, so it's going to face and start on the outside, as opposed to starting sort of like on the underneath here. So it's going to come on the top like that. Okay, so I'm going to thread on. So this is going to be, I'm going to pop this on, and I'll show you how we wrap that around. So that's going to fall all the way down to the, to the bottom, I'm going to just hold that in place here and I go all the way around. So I do one wrap and around and I'm ready to add in the next one. So I'm going to pick up another. So these would be your gemstones. So I'm going to pop that on there. Let that fall all the way down to the bottom. And I keep doing that. So again, so remember we're going all the way around. So that's why it's really important not to close that, to keep that gap there, not to close it, because it just makes it easier for you. So you see that wire's gone through nicely there. And I keep doing that. So I'm going to carry on and add that detail in around on both sides. So you can see I've added in, I've added in the spacers, and I've turned that edge in. So you can see I've added in my six spacers here. So I don't need that, that wire anymore, so I'm just going to wrap it a couple of times and then go in and snip off at the back and just tuck that tuck that wire in so we don't need that anymore. So what I'm also going to do is just to even that up. So I've got my chain nose pliers. I'm just going to go in and give that a little bit of a pinch in so that it just neatens it up. Okay. So you can see there. So you've got your your um, your wire work connector there. So it'd be a nice connector if you wanted to add in, I mean you could do like your pearl knotting or you could add chain to this, anything there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in a couple of jump rings here and then I'm going to just put a drop at the bottom there. So if I pop that down, so I'm going to have a couple of my findings. So I've got a few jump rings. So I'm going to pop my, got my sunstone on there. Do my wrap loop, so let's have a look. So to do a basic, just a wrap loop, so I'm going to, coming out and do a standard. So just nice and delicate little little loop here, all the way around. Almost like give a, so put a little bit of a, a kink into the into the head pin, just so that I've got almost like a tiny handle to wrap that around. Give 
that a cut off there. So I know that I've got that sort of that, that drop now. So that's going to go and sit really nicely in the middle of here. But as I say, you know, you could absolutely use this as a connector for something much larger, but I'm just going to stick with this smaller, the smaller um, stone here. So I've got my, I want to open up some of these jump rings now. So I'm going to bring this in. So let's open some of these. So I'm going to have this one coming in. So that's going to go onto, onto the wrap loop. So pop that down for a minute. I'm going to open both of these. So these two now, these jump rings are going to go, one's going to go through the, the jump ring on the wrap loop. And the other one's going to go into one side of the wire work piece that we've done. So I'm just going to go in and close that and then pick up the other one. So I'm going to open this as well. Remember you're opening it up like the gate or the door. And that's going to go into the first jump ring here, the one that's attached to the wrap loop. And that's going to go into the other side there. So I'm just going to come in and sorry that you can't see very much of this. There we go. Let's close that up there. And just bring that down so you can see how that's going to sit in really nicely there. So you can see how that's looking. So that again, so how transferable that is in that we've got with, so you've got the same effect, but that's with the, the gemstones. So if we use and we work with our earring finding, so that's going to sit up here. So you can see I've just got another jump ring here and my shepherd hook here. And so the slight variation with that is, so you can see if I sort of just separate that out, you can see we've got that, we've got that connector or the wire work component coming along here. And then all I've done on this section is I've just used that, used a bit more of my weaving wire and done a figure of eight weave going across this section here and then added it in above the slightly more intricate wire work design there. But you can see, so it's a really, really versatile component that you can use for lots of different pieces of jewellery. So I hope that's been as clear as, you know, as I could do in, in the shoe box. Uh, so yeah, I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.